Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dankoni and welcome back to Overwatch. So, it's time to have a discussion about meta. Yes, we all love a good discussion about meta, don't we? Huh? Smile. Anyway, in my opinion, and I think a lot of people might actually agree with this, the Overwatch meta is in the worst place it has ever been. Now, why do I say that? Well, you look at last year, you say early last year, this time last year, and the metal was looking fairly good. You had dive and stuff like that. And then it all kind of went downhill when we got this hero called Brig. Brigitte. And then we saw the emergence of goats. Thank you. Thank you, goats. Thank you for gifting us 3-3 three, three and goats. And that's pretty much all we've seen since until now. So goats is still very prevalent in the Overwatch League. I think we can all agree with that. Goats, if you didn't know, where have you been for the past year? Reinhardt, Diva, uh, Zarya, Brigitte, Lucio, and Zenyatta. No DPS. They don't exist anymore. Welcome to Overwatch 2. <laughs> oh my god. Um, and it had its time on, on ladder. Mainly at the higher SR. But the problem with Goats on ladder... When you look at... You, when you look at the Overwatch League, these people playing in the Overwatch League, are playing with their teams day in, day out. They have, like, incredible amounts of synergy, some of which we've actually not seen before. And so they can nail GOATS, because most people say that GOATS is an incredibly unskilled meta. Well, actually, you're wrong. Yes, it might just seem like it's six people running into six people, and whoever gets the first kill gets lucky. It's not like that. They're goats. Whoever wins in a goats meta, it comes down to very fine margins in terms of positioning mainly. So that's why Overwatch League teams are so good at what they do. And that's why the Vancouver Titans her and the Shock have been dominant for so long in that meta. They are like pin perfect on goats. Whereas some of the other teams, uh, notably like, uh, say, Paris and stuff like that, if you've got like a weak Zarya or something like that, then you just can't. You haven't got that power. The problem is, on ladder, it is very hard to strike up that sort of synergy. Especially at the high level now, when you can only duo for two people above Master, I believe. In Grandmaster and Top 500. So, it's very hard to create that sort of synergy. And you very rarely see it. Unless you've got Overwatch League, <laughs> League players on your team, which you're only going to get in, in America anyway. But... So, GOATS had its time on the ladder, but most people got fed up with it, because a lot of people want to play DPS. There are more DPS in the game than there are any other categories, so people are going to want to play it. And so, there was kind of this, you know, an eventual pact made on the, made on the ladder where GOATS just wasn't played. It was frowned upon, because it's GOATS, oh, go GOATS, dude, go GOATS, and just win forehead. That's kind of frowned upon on the ladder at the moment. And so GOATS has kind of faded out on the ladder. This has created a massive disconnect between the Overwatch League and Overwatch. Like, it's almost a different game at this point. Um, we have never seen a meta where the pros and regular players are so far apart. And it hurts the league's viewership. It hurts the game. And it's just not a good place to be in. And it kind of needs sorting out. We thought before stage 3 started that we might be getting a triple 2 roll lock in the Overwatch League, which would have ended GOATS. That's without a doubt. But we haven't seen that. So the question is on ladder, what has replaced GOATS? Well, it's Bunker, basically. Orisa is the best main tank in the game right now. And I don't think I think I don't think I was ever going to say that, but she is. And Reinhardt is the worst because Reinhardt is incredibly vulnerable unless used in a goats type of comp. He's very good with tanks. He gets bubbled by Zarya. He gets protected by his diva and goats comps, and he basically smashes everyone's brains in. But when you put Reinhardt Reinhardt up, up against say Bunker or DPS, his barrier it just doesn't last. Whereas Arissa, she can continue putting 
900 HP barriers down for days. So another bit benefit of Arissa is that she's got damage output. Very good damage output. And the more Arissa's been played since she was released, the more people have got used to her. My win rate is 61% on Arissa this season, and Reinhardt is 51. And I was a Reinhardt main. I'm not anymore because he's so bloody awful to play because he is so vulnerable. Obviously, when Brig first got released, you could bash through Ryan's Barrow, which was absolutely bonkers. And gladly, it got removed. But there is this big disconnect at the moment. And Bunker's not getting transferred to the Overwatch League. In term it's just not changing. Because GOATS is so, so prevalent. I think the only way this changes, and this is incredibly difficult to do, and it's a risky thing to do as well, obviously we are approaching Hero 31. Now, the last hero, Batiste, contributed to the Bunker meta. It's made Bunker very strong, especially on the likes of Paris. Disgusting map. <laughs> um... Sorry, I, I, I will I will just hate Paris forever more until it gets reworked. Uh, but obviously Batiste works well with an Arissa. This has seen a resurgence in Torbjorn and Bastion. And it's all very, very snooze, if you ask me. Bunker comp is just frustrating. But Arissa, another thing I wanted to touch on is how can you carry? How can you carry an Overwatch competitive at the moment? Because I have had this debate with myself for a long time, going back like three seasons, and I am adamant, you cannot carry on Reinhardt. You just can't. He is too reliant on your team. I mean, I have seen some crazy people... Do some people just don't use the barrier that's in front of them, and then they get domed by Widow. It's like, come on, dude. Wake up. But Rhine is very, very hard to carry with, and the only time you can really carry as Ryan is if you've got the comp to, to work with him. So you can carry as Ryan in Goats or something like that. But outside of that, it's very difficult because Reinhardt is so limited in what he can do. He's got a 2000 HP parrier that when it breaks, he's a, just a sitting duck. And his damage output is melee range, pretty much apart from Fire Strike. So it limits him. Whereas Orissa, you can carry as Orissa. You've got the aim with projectile aim. And you've got the awareness. You can carry as Orissa. I have done it this season. I've been, I've been able to get golds with Orissa consistently. You can carry. And to some extent, on the right maps against the right comps, you can still do that as Winston. But Winston is not really comparable to Orissa and Reinhardt because he's a dive tank. Dive is not prevalent right now. Obviously, with the resurgence of Orissa on ladder, we've seen Roadhog. Roadhog, you can carry with. You've got... If you can keep your hook accuracy up, you can... I wouldn't advise it, but if you're a really, really good Roadhog, then you can almost, like, flank Roadhog. And you can get picks, because you can one-shot certain heroes. Hog can be extremely powerful in the right hands. Diva. Now, Diva. Diva's a weird one. Because if you're a good Diva, then keep playing Diva. Because Diva kind of works in any situation anyway. Yes, it's not ideal playing, say, playing, say uh, Arissa Diva. But it's not the end of the world. It's not ideal playing Reinhardt Diva. But it's not the end of the world. It's ideal to play Winston Diva. But that is not correct or say ideal against every comp on every map ideally if you're if you're your main, main tanks playing orissa then you kind of want to play roadhog for the whole hook combo but if you play diva if you're diva one trick and you love diva and you're a really good diva then play diva because this has been the age-old debate about diva she has been in pretty much every meta since the game was launched because she's so darn good. I used to be a D.Va main. I switched to being a Reinhardt main. I regretted my life. And now I'm going back to being a D.Va main. 
Yes, I'm a diva main again, with a dash of Orisa on the side. I'm still playing my tanks, I didn't think I still would be, but here we are. But there are certain heroes you can carry with these days. Wrecking Ball, Hammond, is a very, very unique case. Um, Hammond gets played in DPS comps, so if you're playing 3 DPS or perhaps even 4 DPS solo support, then you'd probably play a Hammond, because you're too isolated as an Orisa. You are an, you just wouldn't play Reinhardt. I mean, why would you play Reinhardt and Winston? You can't really play Winston without another tank alongside him. And also, don't play Winston into Hog. D don't play Winston into Roadhog, please. You're not going to have a good time. You can't kill Hog, and Hog can sure as well kill you. So, just don't. But the, the meta divide right now is really... It's really worrying. We've also seen a lot of a lot of resurgence in May as well. And obviously, as I said earlier, Bastion and Torbjorn. McCree also benefits from this because obviously he's highly immobile, McCree. But if he can sit behind an Orisa barrier, then he's gonna he's gonna click heads eventually. But it, it could change with Hero 31. It just depends what Hero 31 is. It would be incredibly difficult to change both things. It would have to be a groundbreaking hero. A lot of people want Hero 31 to be a new main tank. Uh, along the lines of Orisa Reinhardt, a shield-bearing tank. Yes, we had Wrecking Ball, but Wrecking Ball is a very weird case. Early on, we thought he would replace D.Va. The problem is, no one can replace D.Va's defense matrix, even if you've got your own shields, Wrecking Ball. He's not going to replace Zarya, because Zarya is Zarya. He's not going to replace Hog. He's, he, he's just played in solo tank comps. It's really weird. But he's not an out-and-out -out main tank that can protect a team. I think people want to see... Or some people, at least, want to see a new main tank that can protect a team. What that would come up as, I don't know. Um, you've got Reinhardt, who's got the movable barrier on his arm. You've got Orisa, that's got the placeable barrier. So I don't know... What we might see, you've got Winston with the bubble, obviously. I'm not a game designer, I'm not a hero designer. So I can't say, well, we can have this, this, and this, and this. But, something I think that needs to happen is they need to have some sort of immunity to CC, crowd control. I know Orisa has this already, but you need to give them another option. Because I think that's another reason why Orisa is so darn popular right now on ladder. is because you can just help, you can just fortify, and you can say, you ain't freezing me. You're not bashing me, you're not stunning me, you're not hooking me, you're not halting me. You're not doing anything. I'm going to stand here, I'm going to shoot you. That's really powerful about Arissa right now. And that is one of the most standout things about Arissa compared to Reinhardt. Reinhardt can't do bugger all about stuns. If McCree stuns you above your barrier, your barrier goes down. If Brigger's behind you, she stuns you, you're a sitting duck. If you're halted, unless you keep your barrier up, you're going to get hooked. So, I think Reinhardt needs some jigging, jigging around. But the problem is, if you buff Reinhardt, then you buff Goats. And if you buff Goats, you buff the Overwatch League's meta. And so, you're not doing any favours for the Overwatch League, but you are doing favours for the ladder... It's very difficult, and also there's this idea of power creep, because obviously we are seeing a lot of buffs. Arissa has got in this position from constant buffing. McCree. Need we, need we talk about buffed McCree on the PTR? That is power creep right there. Because that is trying to counter goats. And the more you buff DPS the more tanks are going to become vulnerable and you're going to have to buff tanks. And then you buff tanks so much, they can't stay healed. So you've got to buff the supports. And then you've got to buff the DPS again because they can't kill anything. And so on and so forth. And then you just get everything escalate out of control. So I don't think buffs are needed. I think reworks... And nerfs are needed. I think we need to... I think the devs need to... 
come back from buffing too much because otherwise ugh, it's, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a long year it's gonna be a long year but the meta is in a really really bad place in my opinion we can't it's really bad having this disconnect between the overwatch league and and, and the ladder yes it's nice to see something different on ladder we had dive then we had goats and now we've got bunker but if bunker was in the overwatch league there wouldn't be so much of an issue because there'd be parity but there isn't and so something needs to change perhaps hero 31 will change this we don't know what hero 31 is we have got no idea so until we know we can't make too many uh, assumptions we can just make suggestions that's it but you've just got to be very careful if you're the devs because you know you've buffed Arissa so much now that she's the best main tank in the game on ladder but if you buff Reinhardt to try and counteract that then you're gonna buff Goats that's in the Overwatch League and this is the difficult situation we're in but guess what triple two roll lock would end this debate because it would kill Goats so you could buff Reinhardt, but you still wouldn't get goats. Thinking. So this was just a, like a discussion video. I wanted to have this discussion video on the meta for a while. It's just, I don't know. It's a weird thing. It's a weird thing to talk about the meta right now because normally we've had just this one concrete meta that everyone's got around, but there isn't. It's, it's all over the place right now. It's an absolute bloody mess. But I'm going to leave it here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. See ya!